Hi, I'm Bob Friedhofer. Get ready for your scientific journey and watch Professor Bob's Brain Stew. In each episode, I'll pull a thought from inside of my brain and we'll explore its scientific properties using inquiry, a dose of magic, and a pinch of comedy. Just remember, everything isn't always as it seems to be. Hey, okay, get me out of here. Come on, huh? Out! Mommy! Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. And you're watching Professor Bob's Brain Stew. My good friend Melvin Burkhardt said, you shouldn't always believe what you think you see. Look at this picture of these beautiful, fluffy little clouds. Now, let's mess with your perception just a little bit. Just stare at the center of this three-part spiral for just a few seconds. After looking at the spiral, and immediately looking at those fluffy little clouds, or even your hand, they seem to be moving about, or even... Alive! I tell you, they're alive! This phenomenon was first discovered by Aristotle in 350 BC. The reason the effect happens is that once the nerves in your eyes are activated for a certain period of time, they continue firing for a little while, even after the stimulus is taken away. Hey. Let's leave the lab and go visit my friends over at the New York Hall of Science. Down the hatch. Whoa! Welcome to the New York Hall of Science, where what you see isn't always what you think you're looking at. I'm here with my friend Randall, who's an explainer. Hi, I'm Randall. Darn you, Randall, and your tricks of perception. Seriously. A few seconds ago, we were just about the same size. And right now, I feel really short, and you look really big. What's going on? Well, normally our brain is used to seeing rectangular-shaped rooms. And this is not a rectangular-shaped room? No, this is a trapezoidal room. And what does that mean? Well, when we move back and forth, it appears as if I'm getting smaller and you're getting bigger. Well, let's give it a try. All right, then. So here we go. This is great because you know something? For once in my life, I feel like I'm tall. And I feel short. And for me, it's a wonderful thing. And now for something not quite completely different. I'm gonna show you a little trick, a famous old trick that goes back at least to the 1600s. Some people say it goes back to the time of the pharaohs with three dice and three cups made of leather. Watch carefully, you're gonna take one of these die, place it right over here, Touch the magic wand to the top, and that die seems to penetrate the cup. I'm going to go just like this. Take another die, place it right over here. Touch just like that, and that one seems to penetrate. Of course, one of the problems is if you hit that cup just a little too hard, just like that, uh, it doesn't go over there. It just seems to go to this last cup right over there. 